Dr. Hussam Zaida, please. Okay, thank you, Dr. Rajesh, for this uh, uh, kind invitation to this great meeting. It's my pleasure to be with, uh, with all of you. Uh, I'm sharing my screen now. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, yeah, we can yeah. see Go it. Ahead. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Good evening, everybody in India. Good afternoon in Egypt, and uh, good morning in Brazil. Uh, so, one of the nightmares of the surface ablation in the post surface ablation haze. Surface ablation includes the PRK, which is the photorefractive keratectomy, the LASIK, the LASIK, which is with uh, epithelial flap, the, and the apolasic epithelial flap uh, in LASIK uh, formed by the alcohol, uh, and the apolasic by the plant plastic uh, um, ker uh, keratome. Uh, uh, so my, my talk will be um, concise, maybe be emphasizing the uh, part of the haze, post-operative haze, what's the causes, what are the causes, and what's the mechanism of haze. Uh, the, the corneal haze is defined as the superficial, which is sub or uh, the, the superficial part of the anterior stroma, which is dot of pacification uh, of the normally clear cornea following the ablative uh, surface ablative procedures, and we, we can define we can uh, uh, we can define the haze in one word, which is over healing. It's a, the normal healing, but somewhat exaggerated um, uh, mood. So the histo the histologically and the histochemically. Uh, the, the haze um, uh, on the histological and the histochemical studying of the haze, they found that the, the, the part of the haze is composed of the collagen type 3 and type 4, the fibronectin, the laminin, and the proteoglycans, and a huge number or increased number of the spindle shaped crowd sites. So there's no abnormal sense in the site of haze, they are the old normal contains. And this and this part of cornea, but they are aggravated and muchly increased than the normal. So we have to differentiate first between the haze and the punctured epithelial erosion, because in the early stage of haze, especially in the first week after completion of the epithelial uh, uh, healing, we, we may be um, we may be worried about if this is haze or just epithelial erosion, so it's easy to differentiate by staining of the, of the corneal surface by fluorescein stain. If positive staining, it's dry eye. If it's not staining, it's haze. So the haze is due to increased density of the sites in the anterior stromal uh, part, leading to increased cellular-based reflection of light. Uh, or a scattering of light with noisy halos and blurred night vision, especially uh, the blurred night vision in front of the, uh, the, the lights, uh, the clear lights. Uh, the grading of the corneal haze uh, is, uh, is as follows. Uh, the grade zero, where is no haze, the 0.5 trace corneal haze. Grade one, the mild corneal haze not affecting refraction, grade to moderate corneal haze with difficult refraction. Grade three, the corneal haze preventing refraction, but anterior chamber is still visible. And the grade four, which is the most severe form of haze, where there is a severe corneal opacity, preventing post refraction and completely obscuring the iris details. Causes are actually the predisposing factors of haze. Uh, what they are trying to, to understand the, the factors which may lead to haze to avoid it or correct it. Uh, I think the first one to, to talk about the, 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 the mood of epithelial removal. We have three modes to remove the epithelium in the surface ablation, especially the PRK I'm talking about. Mechanical debridement using the hockey knife and the, uh, the alcohol assisted epithelial removal using just 18 to 20% if epithelic alcohol to delaminate the epithelium, not more than this concentration, not to be highly toxic to the epithelial cells. And finally, the trans-PRK using the laser itself 
uh, like, like the, the mode or like the program of the PTK to remove the epithelium first and then correct the error on the remaining surface with the PRK program. So the trans PRK is two in one. Uh, what, what, what are the, um, what, what is the, the, the mode which is, which is less uh, uh, causing haze or helping uh, to, uh, to get a haze after surgery? Uh, the mechanical deprivement is somewhat traumatizing. It's minor repeated trauma to the, uh, the corneal surface, so I think it will enhance and trigger the inflammatory response and it will increase the haze because it's tough method. The uh, alcoholic uh, removal or the alcohol assisted removal of the, of the ethereum will be lesser than the mechanical deprivement but still having the risk of the toxicity of the alcohol toxicity to the epithelial cells and to the surface of the cornea, so you will get some heads after. The last method is the trans-PRK, which is, which is smooth, smooth, smoother, more gentle, and more planned to remove the epithelium with a good transition at the preferred part of the uh, epithelial, epithelium uh, removed. So it's the last one to get a heads after. The incidence in a study with the trans PRK uh, was 4%, with the alcohol was 6%, and with the mechanical debridement, it was the highest with about three folds to the laser removal, it was 14%. So uh, it's, it's much helpful to use the laser to remove the epithelium than the others, and the alcohol than the mechanical debridement. <clears throat> also, the second factor could be the ablation depth and the amount of error. The ablation is performed at the Bowman's layer, put it in the mind. The Bowman's layer, it's a, it's a homogene, hom homogeneous layer of the, uh, of the anterior stroma of the, of the, uh, containing the collagen, a certain type of collagen. So it's not, li it's not like the, the other parts of the cornea. When damage, it doesn't regenerate. So it's replaced by the scar tissue and it is the aim of the, uh, it's the core of the mechanism of the haze. Uh, ablation is performed at the level of the Bowman's layer and the anterior stroma, which is the site of the fibroblast activity. From this point, I can say that the amount of error or the ablation depth is not a matter. It's not different in my opinion based on this point because when you go to correct more amount of error, you will go deeply in the stroma, uh, but, you, but, but you, you passed on, you passed on or you ablated the Bowman's layer and the anterior stroma, which is the site of the fibroblastic activity and the formation of haze. So uh, the, 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 the depth, the ablation depth, when, increase, when increases, it will affect the biomechanics more than getting haze. So uh, the recommended uh, res residual stromal bed after BRK is 400 microns. It's that, uh, it is the two, it's related to the biomechanical issue, not to the haze itself. So ablation to correct small errors could cause significant haze. I cannot forget a case of just minus 1.5 diopter myopia uh, when uh, ablated by the surface ablation for some, something suspected, suspicious in the anterior uh, sagittal curvature, uh, but in, in such case, the error was very small amount, so I didn't use uh, the mitomycin C in, in, in this case, and I found a severe haze, which, is, which, is, which was in, intractable and, and took a very long time to heal. Also, the flying spot is, is much with much lesser incidence uh, for haze, uh, than the broad beam. Other factor is the temperature. Uh, regarding the corneal temperature itself during the procedure and the room temperature of the operative theater and also the geographical temperature and the humidity of the country. The corneal temperature uh, is, is muchly um, affecting the, the haze instance. So, it's recommended to cool the cornea all the time and to rehydrate the cornea. If the cornea is, is quite dry during the ablation, please stop 
the laser ablation and rehydrate the cornea again to decrease the haze because the temperature is an initiative uh, factor, a physical factor to the, the uh, uh, healing process and the inflammatory reaction within the cornea. And the room temperature, it's query, it's not, there's no clear uh, review about that, but the old studies um, show, show that uh, the room temperature is, ver with, is with very less impact on the incidence of, of the haze, but they tend to, 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 to say that the, the room temperature could be cold. And I think the room temperature in the operative theater for the refractive surgery is almost cool for the gases, the gases state of the device itself. About the geographical temperature, the, the point to, to talk about in the ultraviolet exposure. So the sunny and very hot countries, uh, the population there are with more incidence for, get, for getting the haze uh, if they are not uh, stay indoor for a time and getting a good room temperature inside their houses. Also, the wearing of, this, of the polarizing sunglasses is very crucial to decrease the incidence of haze. The, the most important issue is the intraoperative prophylaxis, how to avoid the haze. By two, two things to do during the PRK, the chill and the cold BSS. When you remove the epithelium, please wash your cornea with the chill or ice, ice cold, be a balanced, uh, balanced salt solution. And also after application of the mitomycin C, wash it for by 10 milliliter of uh, cold PSS. It will decrease the incidence of his as shown in this graph. The, the most important um, thing to do the intraoperatively to decrease the haze is the, the, the mitomycin C 0.02% application for 30 seconds. The O reviews stated that the use, uh, the, 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 the time of application of the mitomycin is between 20 and 40 seconds, but I'm, I'm, I usually use it uh, with this concentration for 30 seconds in all cases. There's no PRK now without mitomycin, even in the minus one or less. Uh, uh, amount of error. Uh, so I have found in my own experience now that the, the haze is almost 0% after application of the mitomycin C in all cases of PRK for with adequate concentration and adequate time. Then what to do after surgery in the post ever in the early post-operative time to avoid the haze to the post-operative steroid. And uh, uh, my the regimen which I follow is the post-operative steroid, prednisolone or fluoromethylone, but I, I, I start usually with the prednisolone eye drops in this order from the first day or from the hour zero three hourly for one week, then five hourly for one week in the second week. And then I shift from prednisolone to the fluoromethylone, which with less impact to, uh, to uh, or, or with less incidence of steroid related side effects for six hourly for one week, and then eight hourly for one week, <clears throat> and six hourly for another one week. So the, the the, uh, the old time is five weeks after surgery to use the steroid from the first uh, immediately after surgery, prednisolone for two weeks and fluoromethylone for the next three weeks. And for usual treatment regimen, please keep monitoring of the intraocular pressure all the time to avoid the uh, rise of the intraocular pressure, which will decrease the results and will deceive you about the post-operative results. Uh, treatment options in case of haze. If you if you if you if you um, if you get the haze, uh, despite all these measures, you, you will follow the the the, the, the um, these lines. The longer duration of steroid, you will increase the dose and increase the time for three to four months, even up to twelve months. Don't be hurry. Uh, I, I will add the hydrocortisone I ointment two percent three times per day for just uh, one month. Uh, mitomycin C application, but in, in, uh, in this 
um, in this case, I will use it as 0.01% eye drops. But actually, I never used in my practice. I just read it in the reviews, but I never used it. The PTK with the PRK for haze and depression after one year, uh, I just done, I, I, I have just done it uh, just one time during my, um, my, my, the old years of my practice, the PTK to remove the resistant and, and intractable haze for the first line, the, the previous lines. Uh, I, I, I have done it with, uh, as a combined procedure. The PTK for just 25 to apply just 25 microns from the surface to remove, remove the layer of haze and then the PRK after to correct the error which is calculated preoperatively uh, 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 including in the calculation the, the part of the PTK with the hyperbic shift of the PTK. Don't forget in treatment the dryness and please follow the uh, your uh, the IOP and give antioxidants. Uh, I'm not sure that the antioxidants will be with rule but it could help in such cases. And uh, finally, the conclusion, the corneal subepithelial haze is a nightmare of surface ablation. So in my practice, all, almost no haze after intraoperative application of my mitomycin C in 100% of cases with and the chill PSS steroid therapy after um, the uh, surface ablation is so crucial. Please don't delay it because I didn't find any delay in the epithelial healing when used the uh, steroid uh, immediately after surgery um, but plan but plan for the dose and the follow-up of your patient don't be hurry to interfere with haze not before one year of treatment and thank you very much thank you dr sam it was a, a nice uh, presentation thank on Haze after surface ablation. So we had LASIK, we had surface ablation, we had ring segment, and now we move on to smile. And we have uh, complications on smile, and we have uh, Professor Titial, Jeevan Titial, who will be talking about smile lenticule related.